less actually about you know four four or five seconds very very fast now I'm just waiting for these other young lions to move and I'll reposition for us so we can have a look at these beautiful big males who are behind us oh, there we go that one's moving there that's all right give me a second I'm gonna try to move quickly Now, if these lions did try to hunt a big giraffe, uh, let's have a look. There we go. There we go. Now, we can have a beautiful view of one of the big males. They're both back there. The one's lying down at the moment, but the other one's out in the open. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So as I was saying, with these big males being close to the females, they will help the females hunt something as large as a giraffe. So if the females did grab one, I'm sure these males would try and help them. Oh, excuse me a second, I just want to jump on the radio. Good afternoon, Henry at Byron here. Um, we've just located on the Nkuma Pride and two coalition members. They just got up and they're moving towards Vuyatela Dam. Um, they're just off that uh, Vulture's Nest Road, just to the kind of north of that. If you are interested in joining just myself here. Okay, copy. See those big males? Look at them go. They are magnificent. Now, um, some of you were wondering how we tell the difference between males and females. You can see now clearly the big males with that beautiful mane, that very thick mane around the head and neck. A lot of hair. Now, the reason for that is to protect themselves. If these males get into a fight with one another, which they often do, and when they need to protect their territory or their home they will fight with other males and that thick set of hair around the neck and the head protects them from from any serious injuries from them biting one another so as i said these males these two and I'm surprised they're with the pride at the moment. But these two males are part of a coalition or a group of four brothers. But what happens is these males move around, sometimes alone, sometimes two or three of them together, and occasionally all four together. Now the reason for that is they protect their home or their territory against other lions. They don't want other males coming into this area and challenging them. So these males, by sticking together, they can keep out other males. Now, when they do fight, they can get very aggressive. And it's often either hitting each other with their paws and their sharp claws or biting one another with those sharp teeth that you could see from that line yawning over there. Miss Boyce, you asked, where do the lions sleep in the wild? Well, anywhere really. When they are moving around, if they do decide to rest, which they usually rest during the day, uh, because that's usually when it is warm, the temperatures are hot, the lions don't like to move around if it's too hot. So what they do is they will go and rest in the shade and sleep and conserve their energy until the evenings when they start moving around a lot now at the moment we're very fortunate and i think it's because it's a cooler afternoon we can see that male lifted his head up he can see the lioness is moving off that's why he's following them look at that oh wow this is such a lovely view watch him walking towards us and as i was saying the um thing with these 
lions and the males following the pride is they know that there's potentially going to be some food but most boys as I was saying they can also sleep just about anywhere they want at night they'll move around look how close he is very very close to us amazing amazing to get this close to a big male lion he is huge he's very very big so at night they'll move around a lot they may choose to rest at times but generally they're very active at night I want to keep an eye on those females actually I'll tell you why is because with the females they're the ones who do the hunting so if I keep an eye on them the rest of the pride will eventually follow Let's follow those two females because they're the ones who look quite hungry and they look like they want to hunt. Ah, right. So one of my friends is also out on safari at the moment, but he is all the way in East Africa. So very, very far from where we are. And that is James. And he wants to say good afternoon to you.